Hey Blades fans, welcome back to Hertz Arena for the March 30th clash between the Everblades and the Jacksonville Iceman. Will Henschel alongside Jake Maurice. And Jake, it was a very close game last night. The Blades kept tying the game, but the Jacksonville Iceman just found more and more ways to pull through, take the lead once again, and ended up taking a 5-3 victory last night here at Hertz Arena. The Everblades now looking to split that series and get a much needed win tonight. Yeah, certainly last night was a tough one to swallow, um, especially in the first period. The Blades were definitely a step behind Jacksonville, and that's a team that's the Blades have struggled against the Iceman this year. Now you get them again, another chance to sort of redeem yourself from last night. A number of players looking for better performances, and I think the team as a whole is just looking for a more cohesive, consistent effort tonight against the Iceman. Not the team result that the Everblades wanted, but should be said that Cole Moberg scoring his second and third goals of the season, his first two goals of the year with a netminder on the other side of the shot. So he had yeah. to be feeling pretty good after that performance. Yeah, and I mean, when you have a game that's tough, it's always important to look for some good things you can build on. And for Cole in particular, that is something he can definitely build on. He's been doing the right things this year, and he's been waiting to get rewarded like that, getting rewarded with two big goals, too, in the game. Both of them helping tie the game up for Florida. I mean, you want more of that, keep that going. You want guys to be feeling good heading towards the postseason, and getting a guy like Cole going would be great. The start of the second period was probably the best stretch of hockey for Florida in the entire game. The first period was definitely one to forget for the Everblades, taking a 2 nothing deficit into the intermission, but then coming right back with two fast goals to start the second period. I think that's kind of the pace of play the team is going to be looking for for the entirety of tonight's game. Yeah, for sure. That's the video that they're going to be focusing on as the way they want to be playing. The first would definitely be the one where they'd be looking at things to correct. Whereas the start of the second up until that power play goal by Jacksonville late in the second period that gave them the lead going into the third, that would be about that 15 minute stretch of hockey would be what Florida would want to look at, particularly the first five minutes. And then the third as a whole was fairly equal, but the second was definitely where Florida wants to be. That's the standard they expect for themselves. It was a busy night of hockey in the South Division, and a couple of things happened that, that sort of moved the, the ladder for the South Division playoff standings. Firstly, the South Carolina Stingrays beat the Greenville Swamp Rabbits 2-1 to one in overtime. That one point that the Swamp Rabbits earned locks them into a playoff position, so they haven't clinched the division per se, but they are guaranteed postseason hockey. Now with those three point, or those two points that South Carolina notched, that elevates them into third place of the South Division, knocking Florida into sole possession of fourth place. And on the other side of another matchup, the Orlando Solar Bears lost in regulation to the Savannah Ghost Pirates, so they remain in fifth place, but still just one point behind the Everblades. So with a team officially locked into postseason play, South Carolina now a couple of points ahead of the Everblades, that playoff race is getting narrower and narrower with a, you know, now fewer games remaining. Yeah, and it's going to we're going to see this kind of shifting, especially between Florida, South Carolina and Orlando all the way down throughout the rest of the season. Florida getting help from Savannah yesterday was big. Orlando is idle tonight, so Florida has a chance to use their game in hand and go three points ahead of the Solar Bears. Meanwhile, South Carolina, they play Greenville again tonight, and so the Swamp Rabbits now losing that game yesterday. Jacksonville's a little bit closer to first place in the South Division, so you know the Swamp Rabbits are going to try their best to maintain their hold on first place. And the Icemen tonight... They clinch a playoff spot with a win in regulation over the Everblades. And, you know, it always feels better when you clinch a playoff spot coming off a win rather than backing into that X next to your name like Greenville did last night. So it's going to be a motivated group again against the Everblades tonight. Always a tough matchup and always a great team that the Jacksonville Icemen bring to the ice. The Everblades are going to need their A game tonight to split this series against Jacksonville. So, Jake, let's get into the Griffith Group of Downing Fry Realty. Three keys to the game. Well, you can't turn the puck over. Not nearly as much as Florida did, especially in the first period. That's what killed him yesterday was self-inflicted wounds, giving Jacksonville opportunities where they were able to capitalize. Second off, special teams once again playing a huge factor in a matchup between these two clubs. Jacksonville gets a power play goal. Florida not able to convert on any of their opportunities. And then finally, whenever you're playing Jacksonville, you've got to mind your defensive gaps, especially when backing up for things like odd man rushes. You can't make any risky pinches through the neutral zone going for pucks. It's better to back off and play defensively than risk for something offensively and put your teammates into a tough spot. Jacksonville, a lot of speed that they can utilize and really punish the D-line that way. A really good matchup teed up tonight here at Hertz Arena. It is Marvel Superhero Night, so the Blades are going to be wearing some special Miles Morales-themed uniforms. Puck drop at 7 o'clock. We'll see you there.